Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, we will start designing this jobs list page over here using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. So here we can see that there are six jobs and uh, here are the details of the jobs and you can add any link over here to this button right here. And when we click on these links, we will be taken to that page. So in this video, I'll show you how to design this using HTML and CSS. And in the next video, I'll show you how to display all this content dynamically using JavaScript. So let's get started. Right here I have created this folder called job list and I just opened it with VS code. And here I also have a folder called images and in that we have all these images. So we're going to use these images in our design. So let's start by creating the necessary file. So let's click on new file and let's create a new file called index.html. And let's also create a CSS file. I'll just name it style.css. And we'll also need to have a JavaScript file. I'll just name it main.js. All right, let's start with the index.html file. And in VS Code, you can just press exclamation and press tab. And you'll have this basic HTML5 code. All right, let's link our CSS file over here. And let's also link the JavaScript file. All right, now let's start with the markup of our design. So the first thing we need to have is a container to hold everything. So let's create a division with the class of jobs list container and in that we will have a heading first of all so let's create an h2 for that and here i'll just add a title and the next thing we need to have are these different cards over here so for that let's create a container division and let's give it a class of jobs now for each of these jobs we'll create a division with the class of job so let's create a division with the class of job and the first thing we need to have is uh, this image right here. So let's create an IMG tag. And for the SRC, I'll just type images forward slash and uh, just type software engineer dot SVG. The next thing we need to have is this heading. So for the heading, let's create an S3. And we'll also give it a class of job title. And here I'll just type software engineer. And the next thing we need to have is this details. So let's copy this text from here. And let's create a division with the class of details. And I'll just paste the text over here. And the next thing we need to have is uh, this button right here. So for that, let's create an anchor tag. And let's also give it a class. And uh, let's give it a class of details btn. And here I'll just type more details. Now here you can add the link of the actual job page. All right now the last thing we need to have is this number of open positions. So let's create a span for that. And let's give it a class of open positions. And here I'll just type some text. And now let's open this in our browser and let's see how it looks. So I have this extension called live server installed in VS Code. So once you install that you can just right click over here in the HTML and click on open with live server. And here we can see this is how it looks in our browser. Now let's go ahead and start styling this. So let's go to a styler CSS file. And uh, the first thing we will do is we will style the container, which is this division with the class of jobs list container. So let's type dot jobs list container. And first of all, let's set a max width and let's set it to 900 pixels. And we'll also add a margin of 20 pixels to the top and bottom and auto for left and right so that it's in the center. So if we just add a background color over here, we can see that the division is in the center. All right, now let's add a font family and let's set it to Rubik and sans serif. Now we also need to get the link of this font from Google Fonts. So here I'm in fonts.google.com and let's search for Rubik. And let's click on this font and we need to get the bold version and the regular version. So let's scroll down and let's select this regular 400. And let's also select a bold version. I'll just select this one right here, bold 700. And let's click on this button called view selected families. And uh, let's copy the link of HTML from here. And uh, let's go back to our HTML file. And I'll just paste it over here in the head section. Right now, if we go back to our website here, we can see that the font family is being applied. Now the next thing we will do is we will style this heading. So the heading is inside the jobs list container division. So let's type jobs list container h2 and let's set the font size to 30 pixels. 
and we will add a border left and we'll set it to 4 pixels solid and let's set the color to 023047 and uh, let's also add a padding to the left and let's set it to 20 pixels and this is how the heading looks right now let's style this jobs division right here so let's go back and if you go to the index.html file here we can see we have this division with the class of jobs and in that we have all the jobs so first of all let's type jobs list container jobs and let's set the display to grid and we'll set the grid template columns to 1fr 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 which means three columns with the same width so here we can see now we have one third of the width of the container division right here for this job let's go back to our html file and i'll just copy and paste this job so that we can style everything correctly so let's copy this and paste it a couple more times and now we can see that we have all these jobs listed over here right now let's decrease the width of the image a little bit so let's go back to the style or css file and let's type jobs list container jobs img and let's set the width to 60 pixels and i think that looks all right right now let's style each of the job divisions so if you go back to the index.html file we have this division with the class of job so let's target that let's type jobs list container job and let's add a box shadow of 0 4 pixels 24 pixels negative 8 pixels rgba 2 48 71 and 0 0.2 now let's also add some gap between these jobs so here for the jobs division i'll just type gap and i'll just set it to 24 pixels right now let's set some padding to this job so here let's type padding and i'll just set it to 24 pixels and now let's have rounded corners so i'll just type border radius and let's set it to 16 pixels right now let's add a hover effect so here i'll just type jobs list container job colon hover and uh, let's type transform and i'll just set it to scale 1.03 and we'll also have a smooth transition so here i'll just type transition and uh, i'll just set it to all 400 milliseconds ease and now if you go back here we can see we have the hover effect right now let's style this open positions span so here we can see we have this span with a class of open positions now we will position this span relative to this job division so here for the job division we need to type position relative and now here for the span let's type jobs list container open positions and let's set the position to absolute for this and we'll set the top position to 40 pixels and the right position to 20 pixels or 24 pixels and let's set the color of the text to e63946 and now we can see it is styled correctly right now let's style this heading now for the heading we have this uh, s3 with the class of job title so let's type jobs list container job title and uh, for the job title let's set a font size of 20 pixels and let's set the padding to 10 pixels and 0 and let's also remove the margin so i'll just type margin 0 and let's also change the color of the text so i'll just type color and uh, let's set it to 023047 right now let's style this details division over here so here we have this division in the class of details so here let's type jobs list container details and for this let's set a margin top of let's try six pixels and uh, let's set the font size to 14 pixels and we'll set the color of the text to 333 and let's set a line height of 1.8 right now let's style this button so for the button we have this uh, anchor tag with the class of details btn so let's type jobs list container details btn and first of all let's remove the underlines so let's type text decoration and let's set it to none and uh, now let's set a border of one pixel solid and let's set the color to 023047 and uh, let's also change the color of the text so let's type color and let's set the color to black right now let's add some padding so let's type padding and let's set it to eight pixels 
top and bottom and uh, 16 pixels left and right and let's also add a border radius so let's tap border radius and uh, let's set it to 8 pixels now if you go back to our HTML and if I just add some extra line of text over here so if I just type something over here now if we go back to our design here we can see that this button is at the bottom and this button is not at the bottom of this division so for that we will change the display of this division to flex so let's go back to style or CSS and for the job division let's type display of flex and we need to bring all of these one below the other so let's type flex direction and column and now we can simply go ahead and add a flex of 1 to this details division right here so that it will take up the maximum amount of space it can. So let's go back and for the details division, let's type flex and let's set it to 1. And now we can see that the details division takes up the maximum space and the buttons are at the bottom. Now let's go back and I'll just remove the extra text from here. Right now let's go back and let's add a margin top to this button so for the details button let's type margin top and let's set it to 20 pixels now let's also add a hover effect for the buttons so let's type jobs list container details btn colon hover and when we hover over this we need to change the color so let's type background and uh, let's set the background to 02347 and let's set the color of the text to white and let's also add a transition and let's set it to all 400 milliseconds ease and now we can see that everything looks all right and with that we have completed designing this page now let's also quickly make it responsive so let's go back to our css and let's add some media queries so i'll just tap add media and we'll set a max width of 940 pixels so when the width of the screen is less than 940 pixels, all the CSS inside this block will be added to our design. So let's type jobs list container, jobs. And if you scroll up here, we can see for the jobs division, we have set a grid template columns of 1fr, 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 which means three columns. So I'll just copy this line of code and let's scroll down and I'll just paste it over here. And instead of three columns, I'll just change this to two columns. Now if you go back to our website and if I decrease the width of the browser window, now we can see there are just two columns when we are less than 940 pixels. Right now let's add one more media query. So let's go back and uh, I'll just copy this and paste it down here. And I'll just change this to 640 pixels. And here I'll just change this to one column layout. And now if you go back to our website and if I decrease the width of the browser window, now we can see we just have one column. Now here we will also decrease the max width so here I'll just type max width and I'll just set it to 400 pixels and we'll also bring it to the center so I'll just type margin 0 auto and now we can see we have the correct styling so with that we have completed designing this page right here and in the next video I'll show you how to display all this content dynamically using JavaScript so that's it for this video if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day